My folks, good afternoon and welcome and thank you for joining me here at Crypto Education, um, where today I'm going to be taking you step by step through um, some of the things that you can do if you are going to be uh, supporting a particular crypto. Um, and in this example, we are going to be using Bitcoin Vault. The whole idea is for you to understand that if you get behind a particular crypto, that your voice can actually be heard and what you and perhaps the community that is behind a particular crypto can actually do to support um, the value of that coin, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. And um, the first of which is people think that, well, if I like a particular crypto, and like I said, I'm gonna use Bitcoin Vault as an example. Um, if I like Bitcoin Vault, I can just go and buy it and I'm gonna hold on to it and it's fine, no one, in the entire community with this coin needs to do anything, okay? And that is very, very wrong, okay? Um, the reason I say so is because I've, I've been involved with a lot of groups and a lot of different coins. And what I found is that there are always, you know, there's always a good vibe um, around a particular coin, whether the value is going up or down. But what I've seen over time is that communities that are solidly behind their coin, um, you know, whether it's going through a dip, whether it's going through a correction, whether it's moving up, um, those are the ones that I've actually found the projects uh, to be sustainable, um, the projects to continue to increase in value over time as well. So if we go to the two sites that I'm going to mention here today, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko.com, um, I'm going to go to... Let's see, let's go to coingecko.com first. And I hope you can see that over there. So here we have coingecko.com. So this is all you have to do. If you go to coingecko.com, it's obviously gonna give you a list of all the different cryptos that are out there. Um, you're gonna go up here. Let me maybe just zoom in there. You want to go and look for the search button and then you want to go and type in BTCV. So this is the one over here, Bitcoin Vault. You're going to click on Bitcoin Vault and it's then gonna take you to everything around Bitcoin Vault, all the information around this coin. So here we see what the market price is and I'm gonna use an example. Uh, today is the 20th of June, the 19th of June. So we're gonna go back to the last seven days. Okay, and you can see what's been happening to the price. It's been going down and over here there was a nice spike up in the price okay now the reason for that was the announcement that um, binance through their binance pool is also going to be mining bitcoin vault so obviously that got a lot of people excited um, the market responded people started buying the value started going up so one of the things that you can do is when you come to the site like I say, you've searched for BTCV, you get here. Um, what you can do every 24 hours, and, and this is mainly for the community that's you know very much behind a particular project, is to come here and vote on how you feel about this particular crypto. So I have, I think I have voted here already. So there, yeah, there it says to me, you voted and I voted good. And in 24 hours, I can come back here and I can do exactly the same thing. Now, if I go to CoinMarketCap and I go and look at BTCV, there's Bitcoin Vault. You'll see the same thing applies. I can have a look at the market there. I can look at the last seven days. I can see there's the same spike. Okay, there's the same spike. And where is that section now? Over here. So at the bottom, I have already voted. And you can see there it says your vote is for 24 hours. And I can vote that I feel good about it or I don't. Now, this is very important because when people look at cryptos, um, one of the things they do is to use these two sites. And they do look at how folks are feeling about this coin. So if it's consistently getting a good feeling regardless of what's going on in the market. You can imagine that when people look at this coin and they see people are always feeling good about it, uh, they are going to spend a little more time, you know, researching the coin, seeing 
what it's all about as well. Now, if we look at what happened in the last, let's just go to the last 24 hours, and we can see that it hit a high of just under $30, and it's now settled at around $24. People often ask, well, what, what leads to this? Okay, now, if we look at, I'm just gonna use Chainix as an example. You can see over here, yes, the same chart. And if I just expand this, you can see again, same story happening over here. After that announcement, we're finding the price taking a big spike, um, you know, up to, I think it had a high of about 500 rand, um, and then came down. Now, one of the big reasons for this is the selling pressure on the coin. If you look at um, Chainix and you go to Bitcoin Vault itself and you look at the relevant orders that are around here, um, you'll see you'll see that there are a lot of orders for for selling the coin right at certain prices and obviously buying the coin um, at lower prices. So here you can see folks are wanting to buy, for example, this one wants to buy 68 coins, 68.3 at around 350 rand per coin. Um, this one's looking to sell 59 at 534. Another 27 over here, 56 when the price hits 550. And when these orders execute, so if this price goes up and it goes up to 550 Rand per coin, what's going to happen? It's going to match that. And um, that is then going to be sold. Okay. So that selling pressure tends to drive the price down because you're having funds um, leaving that particular asset. And this is important for, for folks to understand. Um, I think one of the big problems with, within our community here around Bitcoin Vault is the fact that when the price does have any sort of spike, when it does have a good upward movement and it continues, you can see it was really moving very nicely. What's the first thing people do? What's the first thing people do? They sell, okay? So they're actually not giving Bitcoin Vault room to grow. Every time it grows by like 50 Rand, 100 Rand, they sell. Then it grows a bit more, then they sell. And then you have folks selling quite a bit, okay? And it just drives the price down. And then it's got to work its way back up. So if we, number one, are going to these sites and we are feeling good about it, we are actually voting that we feel good about this, if we are holding on to our coins, um, which I've seen in different groups with um, Shiba and, and Kishu and those uh, type of coins, when that price goes down, all the guys say in the group is hold. We hold, we have what we call diamond hands and we hold onto those coins. Um, what this does is even though people are selling, it gets to a particular support level, it then stops there, begins to consolidate and then it will begin to move up again because there will be more holders and more buyers than there are actual sellers. So that is that is definitely uh, one of the things that I believe the, the community around this coin needs to change their mindset. So go and vote that you know every 24 hours or every second day that the coin is good, both that you feel good about the coin, both on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko.com. You want to hold onto the crypto you have, and if you can buy some fractions more, um, do that. But for those who do have a lot of coins, don't just sell when the when the price goes up by like a hundred rand or 150 rand. It is not worth it. If you hang on to it long enough, we can see this coin move back up to some of the heights that it had before. And if we look, um, just as a reminder. If we look again here at coin market cap, we can see that this coin has had, um, let me see here now, yeah, it's had a high, let me just find the high here. You see it's all time high, there we go, of $491 per coin. It's at an all time low of $12.85. And that was simply because of people selling. Okay. Nobody's saying you can't sell the coin. Yeah, you can see on coingecko.com a high of $489 um, and an all time low of around $10. Now, you must remember also when it comes to exchanges, 
each one is going to have a slightly different price on the coin, um, but I'll deal with that maybe in, in, in another video where I can take you through a number of exchanges and, and explain that. But again, if you want to ensure the success of a particular coin, go and vote that you feel good about the coin, hold onto the coin, have diamond hands even through the dips, and I can tell you this, you will definitely be rewarded. One of the other big things um, is what we present um, in terms of, you know, speaking about the coin on social media. So if, I mean, we've got, I think, a, a community of over a million, right? If everybody's speaking about how good the coin is, what do you think the idea is that's, that's going to go out or what message is going to go out to everyone? The message is, it's a good coin. It's got a solid backing. It's got good development. It's got a bright future. But if we are constantly bashing the coin and, and talking about, oh, the coin is bad, the mining earnings are this, um, what do you think is going to happen? Negativity spreads a lot quicker than positivity. Okay, that's an unfortunate truth, but that's how it is. So um, if we are doing all these things, spreading these positive vibes, speaking positively about it, voting in terms of that and having diamond hands, I can tell you, try it out. Try it out for six months and see the difference in the value of this coin. And the reason I say this is simply because the companies behind this coin are doing everything they can to make sure that they stick to the roadmap, the development, the tech improvements, everything they said they were going to do, they have done already. They've done it. They are continuing to do it. They are continuing to innovate. Uh, we have wrapped a, a, a wrapped version of Bitcoin Vault coming out. Uh, we have NFTs coming as well. Uh, so there's, there's, there's a lot going on, but if the community itself is still just speaking negatively about it, what's going to happen to the value? Nothing. It's just going to remain where it is. So a lot of the power in getting Bitcoin Vault back up to where it was lies with the community behind the coin because this community is the largest community behind this particular coin. There, there is no other massive community like this. So the power lies in your hands. And these are just some of the simple things that you can do um, to help Bitcoin Vault and to keep it moving up.